This ride we took over to Granville Island in Vancouver was memorable. It didn't start out well. Though to be fair, we're not really familiar with this area and probably could have picked a better route. This was where things went really wrong. Holy shit. Believe it or not, this bridge actually has a sign that says bikes on roadway. But once we got to Granville Island, we had an amazing ride. This lovely path ran between the harbor and some bougie apartments. I felt like Granville Island was just screaming to be pedestrianized. Never a good sign when they fill in the rail lines and open it up to cars. This was for a Dia de los Muertos event. All the best parts of Granville Island were car free. We had a great view of the West End from the place we were staying. That street you can see running from left to right is Robson, which I walked around in my other video about Richmond. We definitely made some bad decisions about our route on the way over and ended up riding on some of these very car-centric streets. Pretty heavy traffic here. Anxiety. Obligatory trolley bus shot. We saw a ton of deliveristas like these folks in Vancouver. I have so much respect for these people. Please, please don't make me merge with the car lane anymore. This was when I started to get really scared. I don't really know where we're supposed to go. Wait a minute. This sign says cyclists on roadway. I checked on Google Maps to make sure because like, Jesus, I would not recommend biking on this bridge to anyone. We have to bike here? Ah! Holy shit. quite enough of that. I'll be riding on this ridiculously small sidewalk now. At least it was a cool view. So again, I'll be the first to say that we shouldn't have ridden on this bridge, and there absolutely was a better alternative with the Burrard Street Bridge to the north. But the way space is used on bridges is an excellent microcosm representing a city's transportation priorities. No bridge should be exclusively or even predominantly designed for cars. Designing every part of a place for cars induces demand for people to drive, which produces terrible traffic, pollution, and danger. Other than really stupidly wasteful things like private jets and yachts, private vehicles are the most expensive, wasteful, and inefficient way to get around. If you thought that sidewalk was narrow, Good God, we made it. Didn't really like where we found ourselves. Back to doing this again. And a little more of this. A hallmark of car dependent places is when many of the businesses in an area exist solely to serve or sell cars. This area had a bunch of luxury car dealerships, and luxury cars are emblematic of how capitalism concentrates wealth in the hands of a few. We finally made it! Decided not to return the bikes here, and I'm so glad that we didn't, because this ride was amazing. Oh, we got a ride on this. My partner was kind of just like, again, another detour, and I was just kind of like, please, babe. 
quite a few of these bike share bikes had squeaky brakes. Here we've got downtown over False Creek. And then we headed back over to Granville Island. anything quite like this place. Isn't this amazing? It's hard to imagine living here. Filled in rail lines like this are emblematic of car culture. Instead of allowing people to access this unique space via a public rail line, they chose to open this space to private vehicles. I can hardly think of a better place than this to be pedestrianized. And there were lots of pedestrianized spaces on Granville Island, but there were also a lot of parking lots and traffic. We ate at Alimentaria for dinner, and it was fantastic. Bikes, nice and easy. There was a Dia de los Muertos event going on. around a bit, had dinner, and now we're headed home. Coming on to the Burrard Street Bridge here. We rode on bike paths pretty much the entire way back, which obviously we should have done on the way over. <laughs> into a high-speed car lane, part five. Really nice, comfortable riding here. Another modal filter. And we're home. Just another two minute walk from here. So, that was Granville Island. What did you think? Other than the part where I thought we were going to die, I thought it was a really nice ride.